Major League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Buffalo Bisons and the Worcester Red Sox. We've got baseball on the... Cutter Crawford, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through his stats, and one thing jumped out of me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. It'll be fun to watch this guy work in this one today. Bouncer to the left side, scooped up, and that's the first out. Batting second. Now here it comes. The left fielder, Dante. Dante yeah. Kaiser is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Fellas, you look at these guys with a first inning lead, by the way, as they take the field this afternoon. They come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah, Matty V. And you know what, D-Row, this is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. When you're struggling like this team is right now, the games get long, the schedule gets long, and you start looking forward towards the end of the season. Yeah, but you got to find a way, Dan. You know as well as I do. you got to look in the mirror. You're playing for way more especially the way this team is underachieved you got to keep grinding you got to find a way to put your foot on the gas and show up to the yard every day ready to go big swing and a miss at the fastball and he's behind in the count 0 and 2 yeah if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game the offense better step up somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count nothing across here this half we move ahead to the top of the second now. Buffalo's in front of this one, four to nothing. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. First pitch on its way. Yeehaw! Zero balls, one strike. We got no outs. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter yeah. bats in the game. Called strike two. Struck him out. That was aggressive pitching and that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all final pitch that's for that's the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really Mungo. opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Stepping in now, Jairo Munoz. Jacobson is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Next up, Austin Wright will try to make that something happen with two gone in the, the bottom catcher. of the second. Austin. Now here's the first offering. And she'll take a change up here for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he pulls no the top hand Good over. Track. It's 0 and 2. And he'll try and tempt one, him two. with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Cesar Puello next. And his guys have quite a hill to climb. Down 5 zip here in the early going. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Weller is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first down. And now the first pitch. The second baseman. 
Connor Wong comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1 and 2. Got him. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. So now to the plate, Braden Bishop. And she'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Front door curve is taken. Strike two. Oh and two. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. One, one, Sent one. on the ground out to second. Reined in. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Rick Thomas. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Next, it'll be Dante Kaiser. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Behind 0 and 2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Center fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now back, the third baseman. Rio Ruiz Rio. will stand in for the Ruiz. second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Straight up, Popped straight him up. up, straight up. Moreno got, is there, and that's the third out. Can't start any better than this. He's set. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman. The high fastball is in there. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through 4, 5, and 6 right here. Hit hard on the ground to third, and there's one away. So next to bat will be Gyro Munoz. Now Both for one for him here in this one. Gyro. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. One out, nobody on. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. 0-2 pitch in the dirt. I think that was a purpose pitch. These guys are swinging at just about everything, so he's going to take a chance to see if they'll chase one even further out of the zone. Here now the 2-2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. The catcher. Austin. Austin Wright started to go around, but it's a cold strike. 0 and 1. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning.
bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Cesar Puello. The right and he fielder. swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pound in the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Behind 0-2 now. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. First time up, he went down looking. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Wong, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was selected in the third round back in 2017. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Bases are empty, one man out. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Up next, Braden Bishop. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Towards second, and this is taken for the out. Three up, three down for the sixth consecutive inning here. We're through six full. Now to the plate, here is Rick Thomas. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. A ball no, and no strike. One oh. The one oh. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. In there at the letters. One and two now. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Dante Kaiser is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Behind 0-2 now. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in AAA. Just hung in there on that one. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Yeah. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. now. He's the over two baseline. with a strikeout in this Rio. one. The fastball here is we'll take a look at ball one one and oh you know over the course of a full season you're going to have some clunkers and this certainly looks like one by the look on the manager's face he's going to probably call a meeting after this the one one home he is swung on and missed and that's strike two wow great pitch right there right changing speeds how about that straight change up how about that swing howdy if you're waving at me. Here's another one too. And he struck him out to retire the side so he's through seven complete still working on a masterpiece. And now in the box, Bobby Dahlbeck. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. 
Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Bobby Dahlbeck is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Now the pitch. The designated hitter. Got on the low. ground, softly towards second. Oh, yeah. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Next to dig in, Austin Wright. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Now the 1 0. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And the throw from shallow right in time at first, and the inning will. So now here is Cesar Puello starting things for his Leading side up. in the Four ninth as they shot. face the improbable the right odds of trying Big to come ball. back in this one. Yeah, not Leading a lot ball. of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Behind 0-2 now. Fastball no, just it, misses. That's, that's ball one. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Next up is Connor Wong. And his dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others, but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. Two and one the count. Now the two one. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. The batter. The so field. next to hit is right Braden there. Bishop. He represents the 27th Bishop. and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. Two down, two down. The 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Here we go, boys. The one and one pitch. Liner towards second. Throw in time. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Our final line score, first for the victorious Barons, seven runs on...